On the side we have a one key recovery switch, AC adapter, large ventilation port right here, and here is the VGA port, Ethernet, HDMI, and two USB 3. Moving to the front, we have some battery light indicators and uh, here is the power, battery, here I think is the touchpad, yeah that's the touchpad. Here's the caps lock and the num lock. And here we have a fake uh, memory stick. So you can put in all your photos and all that. And moving on to the other side. We have the headphone jack, microphone jack. Always on USB 2.0. This is only on when it's on sleep or standby. So it won't work if it's shut down since I tested it. And here we have the Ultra Bay for me, which is a GT650M, which I bought and installed. And here's a Kensington lock. Now for the exterior. The back side of the laptop is made from a brushed aluminum or metal. Not sure which one, but they advertised it as a cool to touch, and they weren't falsely advertising that. It's really cool to touch. The logo here is trimmed from metal, so nothing's going to happen to this. It's really squeaky, and it attracts lots of fingerprints, but not so much dust. Then again, all laptops really have fingerprints and dust, so nothing to do about that. The back, really plain, which is perfect. I like the battery on the side, not the back. And the design's kind of right here. It's down, there's an angle about right here. If you can see it. And there's an angle about right here that goes all the way up to the front. Now for the back. First I'll start here. The whole back is made from plastic and it has a really bolst like wood design right here. Really great design for a back of a laptop. Or the bottom. Here you can see the giant ventilation port, very essential for getting rid of excess heat when you're gaming or watching movies. The battery right here, you remove it by clipping that, holding this, and then pulling out the battery, which I won't be doing now. Here we have um, this grill right here that intakes cool air, so don't get anything covering this while you're using the laptop. Windows 8 sticker, how to take off the battery, where it's manufactured, and these four giant rubber stoppers are really, really good. It stops the laptop from moving or wiggling when you're playing with it. Now for the interior, I will go from here. The JBL speakers. Best speakers I ever heard on a laptop, really loud and crisp, and mostly crisp when you download the Dolby speakers, which is already pre-installed in there, I just had to update some drivers. Power switch, easy to use. No hinge problems. Never had any hinge problems yet. This whole section though is made of metal. Another JBL speaker, sound for the Lenovo. And on the trailer, or the preview, I think there's two speakers here and two speakers here. I could be wrong though. And the keyboard is an AccuType, which is, it's curved at the bottom so it's easier to type. It's two-tone, black and red. No flex whatsoever. Really good. Here, the function key, you can change the brightness. Not sure you can see that, but let's zoom in again. Off. Level 1. Level 2. Um, the shift key and the backspace and some of these keys here are a little smaller than usual. And the control pad right here is kind of in an awkward position for me. But you'll get used to it. I don't even use the shift key that much. This right shift key. Backspace, a little bit smaller I guess. The whole back of this keyboard is a glossy piano material, like on the bezel. So it attracts dust. 
which I can't really do anything about it unless there's like a keyboard cover. And here we have the touchpad. It's it's normal. You click here, click there. It has the smart technology. Smart. Uh, you can rotate, pan, make things larger. Not as good as the Apple, but decent enough. And I will be discussing the touchpad problems later on of the video. Here we have the sticker. Ultra Bay HD webcam, always on USB, JBL speakers, Dolby Home Theater, version 4, ID pad. GT650M, Intel Core i7. So all of this right here is from the same material as the front. So it's, um, it's good. I like it. No problems so far. You won't get, you will get lots of fingerprints, of course. And it, the heat doesn't really affect this area, so it's pretty nice. Here we have the display. It's a full HD 15.6 inch screen, 1980 by 1080p. Really bright, kind of glossy, but if you turn up the brightness, it won't bother you that much. I switched from a 1366 to display so it's it's really really vibrant in my eyes and it's pr using Windows 8 which some people hate some people like Windows 7 I'm just gonna deal with it and just use 8 so f I'm gonna log in now and show you the rest now that I'm logged in I'm gonna show you some of my benchmark tests I've taken they're all in photo form, so feel free to pause the video to see my results. So here I am. First one is 3D Mark, and a comparison with some other laptops in the competition, such as the IdeaPad Y580 and Y480. 3D Mark score, right here. This shows my cores and my two GPUs up there. This shows my C CPU and all that you need to know about. GPU. I've updated the driver so it's up to um, the most current one. Here are the score. And here is the Sly and PhysX configuration. 8 gigs of RAM and all that other stuff. And that's about it for benchmarks. Here I am doing it um, live. The two GPUs. Somehow the Intel 4000 is invisible or yeah, I don't know where it went, so I'm not sure if it has Optimus, but... I do know is the slide doesn't function while it's unplugged, so be aware that it'll just run with one GPU when it's unplugged. And that's it. First question. Touchpad problems. As you may all know, there's been many, many, many complaints about the touchpad and how bad it is. I'm not sure if it's because all the, the ones that were sold when it was released in November had problems. When I got mine in December, late December, it also had the touchpad problem. And if you don't know what the problem is, the problem is um, the cursor just randomly floats around the screen or just spazzes out randomly and it's really bad to follow your finger. But I, they use a different technology in their touchpad. It's called Elon. And some people said you should download Synaptic instead. I'm going to show you on the screen. Right there. Lenovo touchpad. Manufacturer Elon. I'm currently using this. And I tried... Updating the drivers that did not work at all and I wouldn't recommend uninstalling it because I heard on the forums it only happens or it's Successful only a third of the time so not gonna try that 
What I did do was go to Lenovo Touchpad 2.0 and just, here's the multi-touch gestures or whatever. I just turned mine all off and then, yeah, just turned off specific things for the touchpad and it went back to normal. And did some Windows updates and all that and I started messing around with the settings and now it's working perfectly. I guess you could try to download Synaptic and see what that does, but I never tried it, so... But right now, the touchpad is fine, it's really responsive. But then again, I don't really use the um, trackpad that much on the, unless on the go. I use um, an M60 Corsair mouse instead. So yeah, that. if you have any problems with the touchpad, well, you're not the only one, it happens with all the models. Um, some people might be lucky and it might not be a problem, so just hope for the best and look on the forums and see what people think.